Hello. Okay, you can hear me now. Okay, that's great. Um, Becky, does that mean that you've not? Uh, does that mean that you've not been able to hear me all this well? Oh, that's ridiculous. And I've said my all my best stuff. All my best jokes have been. <laughs> oh my gosh, really? Oh, I, and I did say to someone. Well, when I first started the live stream i did say if you can hear me give me a thumbs up in the comment section and then someone made a comment so i thought they were responding to what i said i am so sorry let me see if i can remember all my best jokes that i have said i was just i was wondering why no one uh said anything about this i was just basically saying that uh referencing this earthquake that took place in New York. I think it was yesterday. And I was saying, do we have any New Yorkers in the chat? And I hope everyone is safe. Uh, I hope your family members are safe as well. Oh my gosh. Anyway, let's continue. Anyway, so I was talking about this gentleman, uh, Jonathan Perkins, who the Daily Mail targeted for saying that he didn't believe that Kate Middleton had cancer. Uh, he has shared the following tweets uh, on Twitter and just had everyone kind of giving him the side eye. He said, my lawyer, counsel, and best friend is reaching out to Meghan and Harry's US legal representation. Enough is enough. And the reason why everyone is looking at him with the side eye is because it's almost like he's trying to tie the Sussex squad to the Sussexes which is not a good look for them because anytime the Sussex is the Sussex squad do anything, it will look as though it's the Sussexes who are asking the Sussex squad to do anything, which is really not the case. So a lot of people have kind of uh, trying to distance themselves from him because they don't want him to tie the Sussexes to the Sussex squad, um, uh, you even have this Sussex squad member who is saying, this might give you some clout, but it's not helpful to Harry and Meghan. You only give tabloids another angle and stick to beat them with that they didn't ask for. To be seen as helping a, soci a social media person claiming to be their supporter who joined in conspiracy theories against their sister-in-law regarding something as serious as cancer is a line of attack. If you care to leave them out of further abuse, you'd delete this tweet. And if you want, you can pursue that inquiry privately. And I completely agree. What are you guys' thoughts in the comment section? What are your thoughts about this? Let me know what you think. While you are coming up with your thoughts in the comment section, let me just look at the... Let me look at the comments. Uh, yeah, confirming you can hear me now. No sound since the beginning. Uh, you can hear me now. That's good. Little Max says, I agree with Glow. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, I think uh, that's the most sensible thing to do. It might be that he was caught up. I don't want to judge him too quickly because uh, the more stringent, um, the more strict squaddies are saying um, he is actually trying to drag Harry and Meghan into his mess because he actually wants them to be smeared. Um, but it's also possible that he just got carried away. So we are looking at him a bit carefully. But yeah, this is where we are with him at the moment. And for those people who might think uh, it's better to stop, I hear a lot of don't respond to newspaper articles, don't respond to anything. Uh, from the faith perspective, I kind of understand uh, because even in the Christian community and not trying to be controversial, but there you do have a lot of people who think yeah, you do have a lot of people who just think that 
as Christians, we just float on clouds singing hallelujah. But God is also a God of, as much as he's a God of peace, he's also a God of war, he's a God of protection, he's a God of so many different things that keeps us upright and going. And so for that reason, when it's time to war, you, you need to go to war. You can't just rely on prayers alone to do that. After all, the Bible does say faith without works is dead. So this person you have, you see on the screen, Amy Sue Peterson, she is a notorious Harry and Meghan hater. And I'm going to tell you her story uh, in a second. So she is. She was a PhD student in anthropology in the University of Nebraska Lincoln. Listen to the kind of comments she made. She used to be able to make on Twitter. Um, he said one quick and easy question. Somebody was asking: Are there any members of the royal family that you've seen posed like this? Princess Royal, Sophie, even the York girls. That This picture was the moment I said, oh no. Then Amy Sue Peterson said, it's her. It's her look at me pose makes me sick, big clue. Then somebody else was saying, this can't be real, pointing downwards. And what are they pointing downward at? Harry and Meghan released virtual reality app that will allow anyone to tour them and to sit at home and even see Archie and Lily for a $3,000 fee. Doria will be included at a later update. And Amy again said AI created children, thus the needs for dollars. Okay. So at this point, the Sussex Squad had had enough. Hence, you see my handy detective with her magnifying glass and looked into Amy Peterson and found out that she's an administrative technician at the College of Arts and Sciences, Women and Gender Studies. Well, we started a petition and she lost her position on there and she also lost her Twitter account. No, that's okay. That's okay, Sussex Love. It seems like I moved to the next thing too quickly, but I'm actually talking about the same thing because this is a segue into the reason why uh, it's important for us to push back against the things that we see and hear being talked about on social media for those people who keep saying we are to ignore the news. So basically, this gentleman, going back to that gentleman's um, issue, the story, so um, people have been looking into the person who actually wrote the story, Isabel Stanley, and we found out that she's a research assistant. So they use someone expendable. And when you go into the Daily Mail website to go see her profile, you can see that uh, she has literally been taken off there. I think that they were testing to see, well, they knew that there would be pushback, but they didn't know how furious the pushback would be because the, the guy, it seems like he lives. You know that there are some people who are just firecrackers. And he is just like he was waiting for the Daily Mail to do something. <laughs> and he has been on their neck since the article came up, came out. I can see that the article is still up, so they haven't taken it down. But he has said that he has instructed lawyers and he is calling for anyone who has been targeted by the Daily Mail to come together so that they can put together a class action against the Daily Mail. Well, you see, these are the kind of actions we would need to take. We can't just sit back and watch them do stuff. And talking about it alone is not enough as far as I'm concerned. So which is why I also 
tend to get us to get together to do little things like following accounts and all of these kind of things to increase the numbers so that they can the Sussexes can get the benefit of our numbers on their various social medias. Uh, Karen, good luck, squaddies. You have a lot to try to explain. Uh, uh, no comment to you. I don't even have the time or the energy for your foolishness. Ban and delete. Uh, let me put on the troll spray. Hold on a second. Let me put on the troll spray. Uh, just a second. Uh, while I'm trying to do that, I will also hold on. Okay, fab troll spray on now. I don't know why they, these people who are such haters can't stay by themselves. Like, stay with your fellow haters. Don't come to a place where people are talking about things you don't like, right? I don't listen to channels that hate on Harry and Meghan. I skip past them so smoothly, it's as smooth as silk. Um, Little Max says, I don't recommend giving anyone your information for a class action suit. Really? Why? How is the suit going to go ahead if you don't give them your information? I mean, there must be a way to bridge the fear of for walking into a trap because uh, at some point you have to be able to do your own investigation, I suppose, before you uh, give out your information. But the whole idea of living in fear, uh, I kind of rebel against that completely. Uh, I completely rebel against that because you have to, the Lord didn't, God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and sound mind. So we have to, in order to move forward and address issues, at some point you're going to have to take action. And if you're afraid of every shadow, because you're not, you don't have the tools necessary to do your due diligence, then you will never get anything done. Mm. So our faith has to be bigger and better than our fears. But of course, we have to move forward intelligently. So uh, Little Max says it could be a setup. Well, that's why you do your due diligence. That's why you try to find out who he is before you, you give him your information. And then you're not just going to walk into the class action blindly. You're going to ask questions. And typically those kind of actions will go forward on a no win, no fee basis. Or it might go forward on the basis that people will contribute towards the legal fees. But sitting back and not doing anything because you're afraid of being set up, I kind of rebel against that. There must be a solution to overcome that fear. Um, Sussex Love. Hi, Sussex Love. How are you? Connie Barmer in Baron's voice. How are you? Hello, hello, hello. When dealing with nincompoos, don't waste words on people who deserve your silence. Sometimes the most powerful thing you can say is nothing at all. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, little Mark, we have to be alert and pray over these situations before we take action. And also... Uh, little Mark says, I'm not afraid. As I'm saying I don't recommend it. Well, 
let's agree to disagree on this point. That's fine. We are grown ups. We can agree to disagree. Uh, because energetically, uh, that's just, that is just not something, um, that I agree with. I feel like where there is this, a situation, you can get trapped because you, you don't recommend taking certain actions because it could be a setup and because there are fees to be paid. Hello, Sussex Love. How are you? I sent you a message. Did you get it? I think I sent you the message on TikTok. Anyway, so moving on to the next. And some people were saying that it's possible that the reason for all these stories and all these attacks against the Sussexes in recent times is because they were trying to distract everyone's attention away from this um, story or this documentary, which um, dropped on Netflix about uh, Prince Andrew's infamous interview. Well, certainly I will not be watching that. I would not give them my view. Um, I would not give them my view. Has anybody watched it? Has anybody watched it? I know that there's a kind of a delay. So let me look at the comments. Hello, coffee, honey. Uh, How are you? And I guess you guys might have heard about the royal battle axe who stepped into the ring to distract from the royal goings on and profit from her at least proximity to the royal family by name, right? If nothing else, that she at one point in time, maybe a thousand years ago, she married someone who is 1,000 times removed from the royal family. At, <laughs> she has written a book about Harry and Meghan. Interestingly enough, when she wrote a book about the queen, she was lambasted for it by the media. This is what they had to say about her. Distasteful, unnecessary, and tawdry. Lady Colin Campbell comes under fire for a book full of lurid claims about Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip's sex life and what happened on their wedding night. Can you imagine? I don't know where people's minds are. How do you think that this is, a, this is ever a sensible thing to do? like writing a book about, even if it's a member of the royal family, their wedding night, about someone's wedding night. Like, it's nothing, it's literally nothing private. Looks like her brain and her personality just looks the way her face is, just stupid. Anyway, so she has written her book about Harry and Meghan, but the difference is that she's being praised for her book about Harry and Meghan. Of course, I don't know what is written in the book. I have no intention of buying or reading it. Don't care. Don't want to know. But I just find it quite interesting that when she writes about the royal family, she is praised abundantly. Um, but when she writes about Harry and Meghan, then... Oh, sorry. When she writes about the queen, she is castigated to the nth degree. But when she writes about Harry and Meghan, she is praised for it. And I guess it is in the spirit of Harry and Meghan are fair game, but the royal family are not. Anyway. But of course, now she's right. She's being praised for writing about Harry and Meghan. B 
Before we continue on our journey, I have to say a warm welcome to all the newcomers to our community. Thank you so much for making the decision to subscribe to my channel. If you're listening and this is your first time here, don't hesitate. Don't think twice. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Join our bustling community. It's lively in here. We have all kinds of discussions. We even agree to disagree. <laughs> it's like walking into a lively conversation at a crowded party, only without the awkward small talk. These days, these kind of conversations are needed to keep us on our toes because trying to separate the truth from the lies in an age of digital piracy is a feat in itself, not to talk about the added benefit we were supposed to have been getting from AI, which is now being used by the royal family for uh, different purposes. Here on this channel, we don't just skim the surface of the news. So from time to time, we dive deep like a professional pearl diver on a mission to uncover hidden gems. So whether you're in need of some serious analysis or craving a good old virtual hangout, you've come to the right place. And to all my seasoned sailors returning to dock, ahoy! <laughs> if you haven't hoisted the flag of subscription yet, now's the time to unfurl it proudly. Look at me with the seafaring references, right? <laughs> to all my loyal subscribers, a hearty thank you for keeping our ship afloat through rough seas and calm waters. Your, your unwavering support fills our sails with wind and our hearts with joy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't subscribed, really, really, if you think, I, do you know, when I first started listening to content on YouTube, right, I never used to bother so much with the subscribe button until I actually became a YouTuber myself. And then I realized how important it was to subscribe because, first of all, you never see the content in your your feed uh, and then it's important because you're giving back to the content creator whose content you're watching for free so please go ahead to hit the subscribe button we recently reached our threshold um goal of 3,000 subscribers our next goal or uh, is 4,000 subscribers before the end of april I know that we can achieve it because there's more than that in our community. So please go ahead, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Have I said subscribe yet? Yeah, one more time, subscribe. <laughs> also, if you're able to do so, please consider donating to my channel. Think of it as tossing a few coins into your digital hat. Every little bit helps to keep the lights on and the content flowing. You can use the dollar sign at the bottom of the chat, or you can donate to our uh, PayPal or Cash App. And you'll find the links to both in the description box of this video. Okay. Now that all of that has been all observed, all protocols have been observed, let's move to the next Thing, which is Kate Middleton's parents' death. Mm -hmm. This seems to be the biggest story of the week, and I can't for the life of me understand the reason why. Because you would, you would have thought that Kate who they're trying to protect should have been covered with the protection from discussing her parents' death. But it seems like every time people are beginning to forget about these deaths, they come up with more details on what is actually going on. And it seems like perhaps there is a good reason for it anyway, because they're... The debt that they initially reported that Party Pieces, which is the company that 
Michael and Carol own was owing was about 260,000 pounds which is about over $329,000. In the scheme of things, for people on their level, that's not supposed to be a lot of money. So it's quite surprising that that should be an issue for them. And the insolvency firm costs uh, they owe after falling into administration, they are not able to pay that either. So the firm is, after working and doing all the hard work of keeping everything straight, it looks like they are not going to get paid for all their work. That's a shame, isn't it? So the royal commentator Afua Hagan says, Carol would be doing all she can to prevent the princess from stressing amid her highly publicized cancer battle. It's a stressful time at the moment and she'll be pulling out all the stops to shield her daughter from this, Hagen told US Weekly. Party pieces has collapsed and is devastating for the family, but Carol will be the most concerned about Kate's well-being right now. Thank you, Connie Barber, for your contribution, your donation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, this person on Twitter says, new reports show that Kate Middleton's parents owe even more money and cannot pay it. Apparently, the total amount, the amount they owe is as much as 2.6 million pounds. 2.6 million pounds. Kate has, uh, Carol has used the My Daughter Has Cancer sympathy card to avoid her financial troubles. It's interesting that Prince William has not helped them quietly pay this off. His father is a billionaire. Prince William is a billionaire. Kate's sister's husband, I think he is wealthy as well. This money we're talking about, at least the uh, insolvency firm's fees, is little money. So it's quite surprising to see that they're just leave, leaving them hanging <laughs> they even given Perez Hilton the opportunity to say this Princess Catherine's family the Middletons not the royals are less than broke can you do you know what it means to be less than broke that means you're broke broke <laughs> oh dear oh my god oh my gosh you it broke broke Sussex Love says, I think they're laying foundation for Charles and William to look like the wonderful people that all of a sudden pays all of their debts. Oh, my God. Kate may not be widows. That is uh, entirely possible. I don't know the reason why they are leaving this family out to dry. It looks to me like they might have had a misunderstanding. And I was just thinking to myself, even if you had a misunderstanding, even if they leave the family out to try, it doesn't look good on them either. So why would they not just pay this money? Unless they themselves don't even have this money. What Remember in the Oprah interview, Meghan referred to the royal family business as this construct. So to me, that has always stuck with me because time and time again, we see things play out in public, which negates the perception we have of the royal family as them being very rich. Well, okay, if they're that rich, what is 2.6 million to a billionaire? Night, Bukoni Bomber. Night, night. It's really sad, I think. Anyway, uh, one of the people who the company is owing uh, is the woman who made William and Kate's cake. And... She is out of pocket, I think, it's over £3,000. And I think what happened was that Carol Middleton 
she handed the company over to a manager to take care of on her behalf. And the manager ran things into the ground and she didn't notice until, until things had already gotten out of control. And she tried to sell the company, but she couldn't find someone who would buy the company and the company's debts. So she was left holding the bag as well. Not that I'm making any excuses for her. Why would you have a company and hand it over to someone without doing your proper diligence with it? And it seems to me, wh why did she even hand over the company? Anyway, I am not with them. I'm not close to them to enough to know the reason why they handed this company over to a manager to take care of on their behalf. But it looks to me that she was so busy fighting for Kate to chase Megan out of the royal family that she didn't pay attention to her own business. Now look. And honestly, without the affair and the suspicions of domestic violence, this point alone is grounds for divorce in my book. How do you leave my family hanging to hanging? How come I don't have any money which I can because if Kate was being paid money at the level at which she supposedly is, which is a member of the royal family, she should have had enough to put her hand in her pocket to pay at least take care of this the insolvency firm's debts, right? And she's been with them for how many years now? Almost going on 15 years. And she doesn't even have 2.6 million to her name. Really? For supposed billionaires? That's weird. That is really weird. Oh, wow. Lottie. Uh, let me see. Little Max says that might be true. Charles is charging to visit Balmoral and <laughs> stealing from dead people. And William and Kate are also charging for visiting the park and using most of the extra donation on expenses, right? It's, it's, it just doesn't kind of add up. There's something something fishy. And it would may it might also account for the reason why they are always seemingly needing money and they are taking bags of cash from people in the Middle East. Uh, I am still shaking up. My neighbor saw a snake in her house. She lives woo, right next to me. So I went out and bought some stuff at HD to put outside. So how's everyone doing? I hope it didn't bite her. Uh, how do you, how do you find a snake in your home? Oh my word. I hope she's okay. And what did you buy to put outside? Is it for the snake or is it a plant that uh, sends snakes away or is it some powder or something? Right. Uh, thank you for the super sticker, Lottie. Thank you very much. Uh, no, handed the books to a fix-it company to evaluate for sale. They didn't run the company. Okay. It's really Katie's husband's choice to give his wife an allowance and open money. She, If he was not going to do that, then she should have also demanded a salary for all the things that she was doing for the royal family. That, does that mean she was just slaving for them for nothing? So how does she get money for her own expenses? Every time she wants to buy a sanitary pad, she asks her husband, darling, please, can I have one pound? Really? Where are we doing that? That's not something we do in 21st century anymore, right? That begs the question you asked in one of your other podcasts. Where is all that money they're collecting and all the... Why don't they ha ever have money? I don't understand. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Sean says, I hope Megan comes out with party favors on her site. I'm just I'm going to order just because that would be delicious. <laughs> I would order just because. <laughs> they stiffen the yeah, the wedding cake baker. Yep. Before William became Prince of Wales, Charles paid for William and Kate. He refused, yes, he refused to support Meghan and she was using her own money to pay for everything. Yeah. Hello, Lady Rose. How are you? Oh, right. So we calculated the time wrong. Okay. Oh, oh dear. So sorry about that. Well, at least now we know. Uh, Lady Rose is the person who is going to come up and we're going to do a little spotlight on her channel. She, her channel used to be our, um, African Charities TV USA. So it's now Lady Rose. Um, on Thursday, uh, we did a spotlight on her channel. And a lot of people went to her channel to subscribe. And we are actually in a collaboration at the moment. So we're going to be supporting each other's uh, channels. So my, my drive to collaborate within the Sussex community has begun and it's beginning to stick. I'm so excited. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control, but I just can't hide it. Is that right? <laughs> hi love wins hi how are you hi 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 how are you good to see you here uh yasmin says carol handed it over when the company was already in trouble kate's family seems to always have money troubles they have accounts of various stores like john lewis <laughs> It seems like all of them in that community all seem to have money trouble. Best comment of the day, just because uh, they pay their staff rubbish. Absolute, absolutely. What is £25,000 a year in central London? Even outside of London, £25,000 is nothing for a year. Harry said it was part of the deal that Charles was supposed to pay for William, his wife, and him and Meghan, but he didn't want to pay for Meghan. She was made an exception for some reason. Sean says, but he's not a billionaire. He runs a billionaire, billion dollar company. He has gold money, but he's not a billionaire. Okay. Royals can't be paid for the services. The family receives tax income because the UK benefits from the use of the monarchy's properties. The funds then flow to blood relatives for their families. Okay, but they might not call it a wage. They should give her an allowance. She should have had an allowance, a living allowance for all she has been doing for the royal family, whatever that much is is all I'm just trying to say. Isabella, understand that Charles is always in control of the first strings of that mafia. This is how he controls everyone in that family. They have no, no choice but to, cap to capitulate to Charles's rules. Oh, well, from that perspective, that this is the reason why they have been uh, trying to ensure that they frustrate Harry and Meghan's effort to self-actualize. Well, it's if it were me, it's good enough reason for a divorce. And this is what the National Enquirer seems to be talking about. I know that the National Enquirer is a tabloid and for the most part, uh, you have to take everything that they print with a grain, with a truckload of salt. But... There is sometimes an element of truth in their stories. And now they are, they are reporting the divorce with certainty, like, with, as they say, with their full chests. They're reporting on the divorce like 
if they know it for for a fact to be true that there are divorce negotiations currently going on between uh, William and Kate. Well, is it any surprise? How is this happening in my family and you are not supporting my family? Yes! Even in a normal family, even if it weren't the royal family, there would be a problem. You would be sleeping on the couch if my parents were going bankrupt and you were a billionaire. For sure. For sure, the cookie jar will be closed. That's for sure. <laughs> Uh, Little Max says the stories would be never ending if it was Doria for sure. Right now, they're even trying to attribute to her a character that is not even hers. They say they call her crackhead, weed smoker. Uh, they say she's been arrested. Uh, they say all sorts of things which are not true. So imagine if one of these kind of things was true. They would have a field day. I'm so glad for Meghan and Harry that, you know, they were able to keep their earlier lives before they came under the spotlight relatively free of scandalous activity. And even what they call scandalous activity can be swept away by normal people as youthful exuberance, like the so-called drug taking that Harry admitted to in spare and any activities that make an awkward thing that might have happened in their lives before they came under the spotlight can always be swept away by reasonable thinking people as youthful exuberance. There's nothing in their lives which anyone can use to hold them to ransom which is what the media have been looking for with a magnifying glass and they've not been able to find anyway they also reported that kate's moved to her parents home and this is in part the reason for the fake photos and videos which have been handed to the media houses by kensington palace and you know what this is the first time they even made any sense and Christopher Boozy has even gone as far as stating categorically that the farm video is not Kate. I mean, it's one thing to speculate about it. It's another thing for someone who uses a professional IT person to examine the video and say that is not Kate. So then everyone was like, so who is that girl then in the video? The Sussex Squad detective agency said, Hold my tea. They went a looking and they found her. <laughs> Kate's body double. She's the one in the red coat here. Many believe she's the one in the video and she looks almost identical. It looks almost identical. So, the Sussex squad are taking them to task for real, for real. For real, for real. And um, now as it stands at the moment, they are just repeating over and over without even continuing to try to explain further Kate has cancer. You can't speak negatively about someone who has cancer. So anyway, I think the general perception is that all the videos and all the photos have been faked so far. And we are just waiting for everything to be fully exposed so that we can put a line underneath it and be done with this particular point. Okay, so moving in to this. So Prince Harry, uh, Prince Harry's Centre Bali is hosting its first benefit auction next week, I think it is. Prince Harry's Centre Bali. 
charity. Uh, they did a very cute video, which I have uploaded to my Instagram account. If you want to go over there to have a look at the video. Uh, I will put my Instagram account in the chat so that you can go ahead and have a look at the video that I am referring to. Here you go. So the video that Sente Ballet released, uh, Prince Harry narrated a new video, a new promo video for Sente Ballet, introducing their new website. And also there's a new video promoting the silent auction from on behalf of African artists. Fantastic. If you look at the video, it's absolutely fantastic. They did a great job. They did a great job. Yeah, they sent to Bali. Uh, let me look at your comments. So Lady Rose says, did you guys know the Middleton's 18 acres farm was busted by police for weed business? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the lady might have been William's woman. Ooh, that's a possibility I didn't even consider just because I didn't think he'll be bold enough. But he has done some really ridiculous things in public. So it's very possible that it might be his woman. Um, oh, let me speed through this. Um, Adrian says, I would never forgive them for what they did to Megan because it didn't have to be absolutely. Uh, Love Wins Movement says, we are having a pretend auction on the same center ballet pieces on Long Wave Movement. Anyone can bid for fun items on the 21 items, but you can spend no more than 150,000 USD in total. Well, when? That would be fun. Assume because it will be on the premise that assume that you had no limitation on your budget, bid for X, Y, Z, or the other item. That would be fun. Actually, that would be a very good fun. I wish I had thought about that. When when are you going to do it? Now until from now until April twenty fifth. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh let me pin the instagram link to the comments of this video let me see Yep. Okay. So if you want to see the videos on the this the Sensibale videos that Prince Harry narrated, go to my Instagram page. The link to my Instagram page is linked uh at is pinned to the top of the chat. Please go over there. Actually, please support the page because I also need that page to grow. I need that page to grow to at least 1,000 followers. It's at the moment, it's just 151 followers. I need it to grow, please. I drop content on there all the time. All the videos that I reference in my live streams are dropped on my Instagram page. <laughs> uh, 
So, okay, let me continue. Also, Prince Harry is going to be speaking at the upcoming Better Up Uplift Summit in San Francisco on April 10th to 11th. And there is a link to register for the event. I have registered. I have registered. So if you just, uh, I think I will do a post. I will do a community post. Actually, I'm just writing that down now. A community post on the um, Better Up event so that you can find the link you can find the link to go register for the event. Let's support Harry in the event. Okay. All right. It just seems to me that while the statistics are push, pushing forward with positivity, the British media keep trying to push them negativity onto them, projecting failure and poverty on them. And this is the reason why it's necessary to support them. I know Harry and Meghan are working like crazy behind the scenes and they will roll out the results of the work when the prep work for whatever it is that they are trying to launch is complete. You see this article which says Prince Harry and Meghan are where money is disappearing fast. And this is they're saying that this is the reason why... Um, She's coming out with the launch of her new brand. And that is because they are running out of money. Mm -hmm. uh, but obviously, that is not the case. Uh, let me look at your comments. Uh, Sussex Love said, I'm following already. Thank you very much. Joanne says, that's not for me. Uh, Prince William gave them £10 million when they bought their last home. Are you serious? Uh, Love Wins says, great idea, Wizzy. It was really good last year. I tuned into five of the seminars, and even though they're employee focused, there was so much that was practical for having a healthy, happy life. Yep. Uh, Lati, I couldn't believe it. I told you people that Camilla and her kids are going to take over that palace. Charles and William are both stupid. Elizabeth would never let that happen. Yeah, that's why she refused to relinquish the reins until she literally dropped dead with the reins in her hands. And Adrian says, I want to know what happened to Elizabeth's jewels that's missing, and Kate was the last one to wear them. <laughs> Tula, good night, dear Tula. Okay, good night, night, night. Uh, Cynthia Henderson says, when would these people realize that Harry and Meghan aren't on UK welfare like the rest of the British royal family? H&M have to earn a living. Jeez, leave them alone and let them work. They can't because Harry and Meghan are showing them everything they do, they do better. They have even descended to the point where they actually beg them not to be so competent in the public eye just so because they know that when they present themselves so well, it makes the others look bad. Ridiculous. Anyway, um, that's all I, I have put down to discuss this evening because we've still got the archetypes quiz. Who is ready for the archetypes quiz? Before we go on to the archetypes quiz, uh, we can take like 10, 15 minutes to do a call-in so, uh, if you, Lady Rose, uh, Lady Rose, I'm going to I'm going to send you the I'm going to put the link in the comments. Come up and 
chat to chat, come up and chat for like 10 to 15 minutes. Give me your opinion on the things that we've been talking about. And anybody else who wants to say something, please go ahead to come up to talk. And then afterwards, we will move on to the And afterwards, we will move on to the, have you seen the link? Click on the link, it's uh, which I dropped in the chat, Lady Rose. Um, I just dropped it again. Uh, let me click on the, Love Wins Movement says, the Instagram link is not working. Uh, let me click on it to see. See. Oh, it is. Uh, it's. It is actually working. I just clicked on the link at the top of the chat. I'm not sure why you couldn't get through. Okay. Thank you, Connie Balmer, for this donation. Uh, it says your device is not connected. It says they will need to connect their mic cam before you, you can add them to the stream. I don't know what that means particularly. Sign out and sign back in. <laughs> Sussex Love says, oh, Darren, I'm not ready. I didn't get a chance to listen, to re-listen. Well, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do today. I've been looking around for a different type of... Uh, I've been looking around for a different uh, trivia creator from the last one. But unfortunately, for most of the trivia systems, software that are available, you can't adjust the font. So the best I can do is to read out the questions and we'll just do the best that we can, okay? All right, so while Lady Rose is trying to come up onto the system, I will just set us up for uh, the trivia for the archetypes. Okay, how are you getting on, Lady Rose? Should we do it? Or should we leave it? Should we do it or should we leave it? Okay, we're just going to move on because we've got, we're already one hour in. So let's move on to the quiz. Is everybody ready? This time we are talking about the decoding of crazy. Who remembers? Who remembers? Okay. <laughs> Cynthia says, fun trivia, I'm not sure what the topic is, but I'll do my usual guessing. So the, the topic is on episode five of the Archetypes podcast. 
the decoding of crazy. Okay. So, f- according to the podcast, what label has been applied to women who display emotions, especially in public as portrayed in media? A, sensitive, B, emotional, C, hysterical, D, dramatic. A, sensitive, B, emotional, C, hysterical, D, dramatic. (laughs) Uh, Who was the first person to answer correctly? Okay, it was... One T M C E. Okay. What historical belief about women's behavior contributed to the term hysteria? It was be- a. It was believed that women's emotions were controlled by the moon. This is going so fast. Well, hang on. Let me. Let me pause it for a moment. I think I have to go out and come in after each question to allow everybody the opportunity because it's just going faster than I thought it would. Just a second. Let me. So this is the first question. According to the podcast, what label has been? That's the first question. So everyone has done that one. We're on to the second one. So each, for each question, there's 30 seconds to answer it, okay? What historical belief about women's behavior contributed to the term hysteria? You've got 27 seconds to answer the question. A, it was believed that women's emotions were controlled by the moon. B, it was believed that women's behavior was influenced by their womb. C, it was believed that women's emotions were a result of demonic possession. D, it was believed that women's behavior was influenced by their menstrual cycle. Okay, third question. Who was the actress mentioned in the podcast who faced backlash on social media after expressing her frustration? over a TV show's renewal. A, Debika Padukone, B, Constance Wu, C, Michelle Obama, D, Jenny Slate. Uh, some people are saying they didn't see the question. Uh, I think, hold on. Mm. And Okay, so let's try that again. So you've we've answered number one. Unfortunately, the timer has to play out before it moves to it moves to each one. And you've got number one. Then number two. 
So this is number two now. What historical belief about women's behavior contributed to the term hysteria? A, it was believed that women's emotions were controlled by the moon. B, it was believed that women's behavior was influenced by their womb. C, it was believed that women's emotions were a result of demonic possession. D, it was believed that women's behavior was influenced by their menstrual cycle. Now we're on the third one. Who was the actress mentioned in the podcast who faced backlash on social media after expressing her frustration over a TV show's renewal? A, Deepika Padukone, B, Constance Wu, C, Michelle Obama, D, Jenny Slate. Okay. <laughs> See, because the devil made me do it. <laughs> Cynthia Henderson says the only person I know on that list. <laughs> The correct answer is Constance Wu. Who about her struggles, including a suicide attempt? A, her promotion to lead actress on a TV show, her decision to leave Hollywood, uh, her experience with sexual harassment on a set, her daughter's birth. B, her experience with sexual harassment. Uh, let's see, cookies. Yes, that's the right answer. So uh, the next question is, what message did Constance Wu want to convey to her daughter by sharing her struggles publicly? A, that life in Hollywood is glamorous. B, it's, time, it's more important to always put on a brave face. C, that seeking help and getting better is possible. D, that mental health struggles should be kept private. Uh, what? Hold on. It seems like a lot of people are struggling with this one. Should we just end the the quiz here this evening i don't want to it's supposed to be fun not uh something to stress you out with all right i think i'll just end it here and um, because we'll try again next week oh tmcd said no i couldn't see the answers yeah unfortunately i tried to find this is why the background and the features of the quiz changed because I was looking to see if I could adjust the font of the quiz, but it really uh, couldn't. They don't allow you allow you to change the font. So unfortunately, <laughs> oh oh, uh, Cynthia says I'm not stressing. I'm just guessing like I always do. Okay. Uh, cookies and cream that you're having fun. Okay, that's all I want. I don't want you to stress. So, uh, <laughs> okay, let me put uh, go back to it then. We are on question number six. And 
uh, before, let me just look at the comments before we continue. Uh, C cases, I couldn't see the answers. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. And Sussex Love says, keep going. We're taking it. <laughs> Lady, Lady Rose says, we're taking a test. Were you able to um, log in? Do you want me to send you the invite so that you can come up? Try again. Uh, just a second while I put it back on. Uh, let's see. And Uh, okay, so go back to that. This one is so manual. So just bear with as the as the automatic timer plays through the questions we have already answered. It won't take us a moment. Lady Rose, do you want to try to log, um, call in once again while we are trying to get back to where we were on the quiz? Quiz is good. Okay, thank you. Uh, you need to connect your mic before this is they will need to connect their mic before you can add them to the stream. I don't know why that is uh coming up with yours. I've never seen this before for the people who have come up to talk on this channel so. I'm not sure why. Let me see. I think we can chat. Ah, I believe. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see if we can. I think we can do a chat on WhatsApp. So after the quiz, we can just do a quick chat on WhatsApp and I'll put it near the microphone so that everyone can hear you. Are you getting on? Okay, so I think we're almost there. It says, what event prompted Constance Wu to open up about her struggles, including a suicide attempt? <laughs> a, her promotion to lead actress on a TV show. B, her experience with sexual harassment on set. C, her decision to leave Hollywood. D, her daughter's birth. So we've got 30 seconds to answer the last question. And guys, we're back. What event prompted Constance Wu to open up about her struggles, including a suicide attempt, her promotion to lead actress on a TV show, her experience with sexual harassment, her decision to leave Hollywood, her daughter's birth. Okay. Um, right.
The next one is, what message did Constance Wu want to convey to her daughter by sharing her struggles publicly? A, that life in Hollywood is glamorous. B, it's important to always put on a brave face. C, that seeking help and getting better is possible. D, that mental health issues should be kept private. Who is answering that first? Oh, a lot of people have answered that already. Next. Who hosts the podcast Wiser Than Me, where she talks to older women to gather wisdom from their life experience? A, Sally Field. B, Julia Louis-Dreyfus. C, Megan. D, Deepika Poducone. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of C's. Are you all guessing? <laughs> this one is Julia. <laughs> okay, we're on the eighth one and we're almost done. It says, which comedian uses her platform to discuss mental health? particularly her experiences with anxiety and depression. A, Sally Field. B, Billie Jean King. C, Arpana Nach Nanchala. And D, Bonnie Ray. <laughs> My life is a series of rinse and repeat, so I'll keep answering in a loop like a groundhog. <laughs> Oh, six. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and it is Apana Nancherla. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Who faced medical gaslighting after childbirth due to concerns about blood clots? A, Megan, B, Ina Garten, C, Serena Williams, D, Bonnie Ray. Mm. <laughs> okay, I can see. Oh my goodness, Love Wind, did you actually do listen to the podcast? Did you go back to listen to the podcast or are you just good at pop culture? Let's see. Serena Williams. Okay. Which individual founded a non-profit organization founded on mental health awareness and support? A. Dupika Paducone. B. Dr. Nadine. Buck Harris. C. Bonnie Ray. D. Ina Garten. I don't even know this one, actually. Uh, in a garden, okay. Let's see. Pippi says she love wins, pays attention. Unlike me, I'm thinking about cupcakes. <laughs> Are you in the process of making them, about to buy one, or you have some waiting in the fridge? I think this is the last one. Who describes themselves as emotional, brave, and loving as an adult? Dr. Nadine Burke Harris, B. Serena Williams, C. Megan, and D. Dupika Padukone. <laughs> from the kitchen <laughs> and so Gloria says 
to pick. I don't even know what this one, the answer to this one myself. Let's see what it do, what it do. The Pika Padicon, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. I think I am going to start sharing these games on Twitter. And that's the end of that game. Love Wind says, now I need a cupcake, which I will call a muffin to feel better about my snacking decisions. <laughs> <laughs> Cynthia, you've got every, you made everyone hungry. Well, I tell you what, the winner of this kind of chaotic quiz today is Love Wins. You have taken the champion's title from Sussex Love, who won last week. And the next person was TMCD. And the third position went to Sharon. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Lady Rose says, I couldn't hear you for almost four minutes. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm going to call you on WhatsApp. Let's chat. And I will just do allow you to introduce yourself to everyone so i'm going to put you on speaker okay let's see whether i'm, I'm so mad right now <laughs> <laughs> why tell me like how come love wing one we all played like well my system died out in the family this is so unfair i'm so hungry right now <laughs> Please come on here. Let's share how much you got. computer and uh, on uh, you know my computer has lots of uh, uh, restrictions and I tried on my phone as well I guess something is wrong okay. somewhere <laughs> okay no that's all right that's yeah, fine I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure it out you know uh, I'm gonna figure it out we need to play the thing we need to, to try to fix the system before we go live <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> love wins. Yes, that's that's a yes. That that's what I do. I just giggle all the time. So life is too short to be too serious. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. I'm glad. I'm glad you're having fun. So what I wanted to do yes, was to introduce you to everyone because uh we uh we did a spotlight for your channel. Uh, on Thursday and I just wanted to uh, everyone to hear you hear your voice on this channel and mm -hmm. uh, we would do a two-minute interview are you game don't worry it's not hard questions yeah, I'm, game. I'm game I'm always ready okay <laughs> she stays ready yeah, guys born ready. yes I'm ready <laughs> okay so how did you come to uh, start creating content about Harry and Meghan? Well, uh, I started creating content about Harry and Meghan when all this 
Kate and William saga came up on the internet. Mm -hmm. And then instead of everyone focusing on uh, uh, Kate and William, they started throwing stuff on uh, Megan and Harry. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like naturally, I just do not like any injustice. Mm -hmm. And uh, if the injustice is against somebody of color, mm -hmm. it just kind of like uh, uh, triggers me for some reason. I don't know. You yeah. know, uh, like I told you, I was uh, born in Copenhagen in Denmark mm -hmm. and uh, I grew up in Russia. Mm -hmm. So I grew up with different race of people with uh, the ones uh, the majority yeah okay yeah so like being a minority i saw lots of injustice growing up yeah so that's why when i see stuff like that happening to a person of color it's mm. like a, i just want to sit there and say something yeah you know yeah Yes, I started watching all those stuff and uh, I watched their wedding. I saw them having babies. I was like actually very happy yeah. until the tabloid started uh, all the nonsense on uh, the media. Yeah, I'm a big fighter actually because mm. I would go on those daily mail on Facebook. Yeah. They just don't like me. And I tell it the way it is <laughs> and I will call the dog by its name, literally. And they don't like that. Yeah, but they don't block me. They just like reading about everything, like my activism, like uh, telling them who they really are. Yeah. Why are they so like uh, so against Megan? Who is innocent? Megan is an American actress. We respect Megan over here. Mm. She used to be on the suits. I did not just start following her when she became royal. I started actually following her a long time ago when she was on the suit show. Yeah. yeah. So she's a respectable person in America. Mm. And the way she was treated by those medias in the UK, it just, I don't know the word, but it just pisses me off. And that's why I had to stand up and uh, I'll say something and uh, uh, support my sister, you know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So can we ask you cheeky questions about you? You don't have to disclose anything you're not comfortable disclosing, but this is the cheeky club. This is the cheeky side of the conversation. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Well, I'm an open book anyway. Ask me any question. I'll tell you the dead people also. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm nothing behind my sister. Ask me all the questions. <laughs> I know we had a conversation. And you can be very, uh, we can, you can be very brief about it. The intent is not for me, for you to share your personal information uh, with a group of women that you've not met. But the idea is just to break the ice so that by the time they start listening to your content on your channel, they kind of feel like they know you a little bit. So, uh, so are you married, single, divorced? looking for a white man looking for a black man which one are you where in the spectrum are you you can be very brief <laughs> Oh, girl, question. Yes, guys, I'm a, I'm a happily divorced. <laughs> you can hear my voice. So I uh, legally got divorced like about a week ago. Mm. Uh, if you go on my channel, you're going to see like multiple videos mm. of me going up and up and down to court. So yes, and uh, so I'm actually celebrating my divorce. I'm actually happy. I spoke with you earlier yeah. uh, today, and you were like, "Well, you need to focus on yourself, and take care of yourself." But thank you for the counseling, my sister. I appreciate you. But guess what? I needed to be divorced to be happy. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So I was married. I was a terrible marriage, like for four years, mm. and uh, 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 and yeah, it just kind of drained the life out of me. So I'm like a really happy after this divorce. So yes, and uh, uh, yeah. Next question. So, <laughs> so Cynthia says, uh, yeah, and the part you asked if I'm looking for a man, a white man, or a black man, I do not want to sign up for any men right now, brothers and sisters. I'm telling you, this load was so heavy. Oh, I need Jesus. Is like, I'm telling you, I don't only need one Jesus, I need two Jesus. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. so that's where the uh taking care of myself is coming in too. yeah so right now yeah i gotta love me 
Rose. Mm -hmm. Yes, so guys, my full name is Rosa Latek, so I'm going to first love Rosa Latek. Mm -hmm. And I gave myself a royal title because, you know, my mother was from the uh, royal Yoruba tribe from mm -hmm. Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So I am a, a definitely a royal. I am a lady rose, whether the uh, England royal wanted or, or not, not. I am a royal, royal, royal. royal. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys. So, things cracking up. Yes, I need two Jesuses or maybe three. <laughs> right. So, I'm going to drop her uh, her channel, the link to her channel in the chat, so that we can go and support her channel. She's just in the middle of a rebrand. So, the channel used to be Africa Charity. TV USA, but it's now Lady Rose. Lady Rose, that's the name of the channel. So I think um, because YouTube is just adjusting to the name change, so it's not automatically picking up when you just go searching for Lady Rose. So you've got the link to the channel in the chat please guys let's support another sussex friendly channel let's get her up to four thousand hours she's already got one thousand subscribers so she has been doing the work she's got over 300 videos on her channel on different things and i'm working with her to streamline the channel so that she creates more content that we can all relate to and enjoy but um, yeah, that's Lady Rose YouTube channel and you can find her at the, uh, on the link I have shared in the chat, okay? All right, Lady Rose, we will talk after we finish the live, okay? Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, family, and thanks for having me, and thanks for listening to me. And uh, Cynthia, thank you, Sharon, uh, Christine. <laughs> I do see you on my channel there. God bless you. Success, love. I do see you, everyone there. Love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Cookies and uh, cream. <laughs> Uh, Ross and Roberts and uh, everyone, I love you all guys. And uh, TMCD, big up. Uh, my brother, I believe, or sister, I do not know. But anyway, big up to you all too. <laughs> all right. We'll speak soon. All right, family. Y'all take care. Take I'll talk care. to you again soon. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay, guys, so we've had our usual Saturday uh, roundup, royal roundup. We've done, we've done the calling now, and we have done the archetypes quiz. So I think we are going to call it an evening. If Cynthia would kindly stop making me so hungry with all her suggestions, I'm going to drink a glass of wine with my cupcake just for you. I feel like coming to your kitchen. <laughs> and one of these days, we're also going to have uh, love wins on our live just to do the same thing like we have done with Lady Rose. So thank you all for spending the evening with me. And I will see you again in my next video. <laughs> it's Wheezy signing out. No worries, Cynthia. <laughs> All right, then. Good evening and good night. Okay. Take care. Bye. <laughs> No worries, Sharon. You're welcome. Uh, well, let's leave on the notes that Cookies and Cream is sending. Everyone, please continue to pray for the Sussexes, each other, and the world. All right. That's a good note to end on. All right. Good night, everyone. Bye. <laughs>